I am alive and it's good to be alive! What is up everyone? Today I am taking a look at how to kill Vayhek, um, give some pointers, some strategy tips, and how I personally would do it, especially if you have to do it solo. But real quick before the video starts, I just want to say that I finally got a new banner art for my channel. Um, what I had up there before was just a random arc dino dossier and I I absolutely hated it and it really bothered me so if you guys could just drop a comment down below um, if you kinda like it it's pretty simple I'll probably work on it later but uh, just let me know and anyways let's jump into the video so today I am killing Vayhek on Oro on Earth so what I recommend that you bring is either weapons with a constant rate of fire such as the Gamma Core, as you can see here, because this boss you can only shoot him in his critical bits, so if you've got a slow firing weapon, you're gonna find yourself getting very annoyed, I can imagine, especially if you aren't like super good at aiming. Also, um, the Ignis flamethrower <laughs> weapon does not work too well at all. Um, neither do explosive weapons. So I honestly recommend weapons um, that are really good critical hitters. Uh, so I'm using the Dex Sybris right now, which works great. It was an anniversary weapon, so a lot of you may have it as long as you logged in uh, within a certain time frame. Because I have upgraded this weapon to hit for quite a bit of critical damage and it makes it very nice uh, when you fight bosses that can only be shot in the criticals. The Warframes I would recommend for this mission, obviously I'm going to say Rhino is going to take the cake again only because he's not terribly hard to obtain for newer players and also because his roar ability is going to help you do extra damage and kill the boss extra fast. I'm simply doing it with Nidus because I think he is also a good choice but um, you know, obviously some newer players might have a hard time getting a hold of him. So what's going to happen is you're going to run around and you're going to find Vayhek in these random sort of, uh, sort of areas on the, uh, on the map. And what you're going to want to do is when he's like this, he's got his teal face mask on. He's pretty much invincible. But when you see that little spot on top of him light up orange like that, like that become a bright beacon you want to shoot him in that and then you'll notice after dealing a set amount of damage he's gonna fly away from you so basically you're gonna do this about three to four times and you're just gonna chase him around the map again Rhino is going to help you kill this boss much faster the reason I'm picking Nidus is because I simply enjoy his health regen and it doesn't rely on energy for iron skin so it's it's pretty nice it allows me to pretty much soak up all the damage Vayhek deals out my other tip to you would be to gain high ground because Vayhek is very annoying in the sense that when he's shooting at you, he likes to fly really high up in the air and sometimes that makes his critical spots a little bit harder to uh, see and to shoot. And obviously he's going to shoot some short range lightning and then he's going to have these guns. My best advice to you is to either have a healing warframe with you if you are a weaker player or again just have a damage soaking frame and you should be just fine. As you can see here with Nidus, uh, I don't really have any mods that make my health regen faster. There are no mods for that and I'm not even having trouble fighting him right now. So you basically just want to wait for him to shoot at you a little bit and do some stuff and then he'll open his critical spots for you to shoot. There's not really any key to it. You just let him, you know, do his little bitching a little bit and then he'll let you shoot him in the face. Alright, and I think this is the last place that I'll have to fight him in. So I'm going to wait for him to do his uh, complaining and take out all his anger on me. Dude clearly has anger issues. This guy yells like nobody's business. So you'll notice that aside from the beacon on his back, sometimes his little teal faceplate will open up and his face will kind of glow red. You can also shoot him in the face when he does that. Alright, so once you've chased him around the map about three or four times, you'll finally get him in this room here, which always looks the same. And then you just gotta kill him. So he's not gonna run away anymore, but he is gonna send out several ground troops to constantly barrage you. This is kind of nice because for a lot of players that have weak guns, you might run out of ammo on this part of the game. I know a lot of people do. So it's very helpful that he sends out soldiers. It's gonna be more of a blessing than it is a curse. And now all you have to do is kill him. Again, I recommend, especially in this room, that you get some high ground that's not only going to protect you from some of his troops, but it's going to give you a nice angled advantage. As you can see, his criticals are a lot easier to see from up here. And also, just 
don't be afraid to play this boss on uh, public. Having more people in this mission isn't really going to hurt you. Other newer players that don't know what they're doing aren't really going to mess this up. The more people you have shooting at his critical spots, especially if you don't have very hard hitting guns, the better off you're going to be. If you don't have a weapon with a high rate of fire that makes it easy to shoot him in his criticals, um, I would honestly just pick your hardest hitting weapon. Just pick your strongest gun, as long as it's not an explosive weapon or anything like that. Um, explosive weapons and area of effect weapons seem to have a really hard time hitting boss in the criticals. So once you get his health down to about a tenth, like real low, he's going to fly over and he's going to connect with his Terra frame, which is this, in my opinion, giant canary bird looking thing with guns. Even sounds a little bit like a bird, or maybe more like a pterodactyl. But anyways, once he's in this form, you'll actually have a pretty easy time. He's going to shoot some missiles and some other annoying things at you, but once he is like this, all you have to do is kill him like normal. You don't have to worry about shooting him in the criticals anymore. You can just shoot the crap out of him. And as you can see, he's already dead. And that is it, you guys. That is how you kill this boss. Um, he will drop hydroid parts as well. So if you're here to get hydroid, that's how you're going to do it. And um, I was going to have my fiance help me with this mission just so it goes a little bit faster. But I want to show you guys that you can do it solo. If you are going to, though, you're going to need a frame that either heals or someone that can tank some damage. Otherwise, these mobs are going to annoy the crap out of you. Probably one of the more annoying bosses to fight, especially if you don't have a very high-powered gun. So again, don't be afraid to bring friends. Ask people for help. It's not embarrassing. He does drop neurodes, but if you need neurodes, that is not the way to do it. Please don't go and fight him over and over again. There's better ways to do that. I hope you guys liked the video. I hope you found it helpful. Uh, if there's anything else you'd like me to cover, please leave a comment down below. And you guys, I can't tell you how much I appreciate your views, and I will see you in the next video. Peace!